This book is called Abuela. It is written by Arthur Doros and it is illustrated by Elisa Cleven. Abuela takes me on the bus. We go all around the city. Abuela is my grandma. She is my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly Spanish because that's what people spoke where she grew up before she came to this country. Abuela and I are always going places. Today we're going to the park. El parque es lindo, says Abuela. I know what she means. I think the park is beautiful too. Tantos parajos, Abuela says, as a flock of birds surrounds us. So many birds. They're picking up the bread we brought. There's a lot of colors in this book. What if they picked me up? and carried me high above the park. What if I could fly? Abuela would wonder where I was. Swooping like a bird, I called to her. Then she'd see me flying. Rosalba the bird. Rosalba el parajo, she'd say. Ven, Abuela. Come, Abuela. I'd say, si, sí, quiero volar, Abuela would reply as she leaped into the sky with her skirt flapping in the wind. We would fly all over the city. Mira, Abuela would say, pointing. And I'd look as we soared over parks and streets Dogs and people. We'd wave to people waiting for the bus. Buenos dias, we'd say. Buenos dias. Good morning, they'd call up to us. We'd fly over factories and trains. and glide close to the sea. Cerca del mar, we'd say. We'd almost touch the tops of the waves. Abuela's skirt would be a sail. She could race with the sailboats. I'd bet she'd win. We'd fly to where the ships are docked and watch people unload fruits from the land where Abuela grew up. Mangos, bananas, papayas, those are all Spanish words. So are rodeo, patio, and burro. Maybe we see a cousin of Abuela's hooking boxes of fruit to a crane. We saw her cousin Daniel once, unloading and loading the ships. Past the boats in the harbor, we'd see the Statue of Liberty. Me gusta, Abuela would say. Abuela really likes her. I do too. We would circle around Liberty's head and wave to the people visiting her. We would remind, that would remind Abuela of when she first came to this country. Vamos al el puerto, she'd say. She'd take me to the airport where the plane that first brought her landed. Cuidado, Abuela would tell me. We'd have to be careful as we went out for a short ride. Then we could fly to Tio Pablo's and Tia Elisa's store. 
Pablo is my uncle, my tío, and Elisa is my aunt, my tía. They'd be surprised when we flew in and they'd offer us cool limonada. Flying is hot work, pero quiero volar más, abuela would say. She wants to fly more. I want to fly more too. We could fly to las nubes, the clouds. One looks like a cat, un gato. Do you see the cat? One looks like a bear, un oso. One looks like a chair, una silla. Descansemos un momento, abuela would say. She wants to rest a moment. We would rest in our chair and abuela would hold me in her arms with the whole sky, our house, nuestra casa. We'd be as high as airplanes, balloons, and birds, and higher than the tall buildings downtown. But we'd fly there too, to look around. We could find the building where my father works. Hola, papa, I'd say as I waved, and abuela would do a flip for fun as we passed by the windows. Do you see her doing a flip? Can you find her? Right there. Mira, I hear abuela say. She's telling me to look. I do look. And we are back in the park. We are walking by a lake. Abuela probably wants to go for a boat ride. Vamos a otra aventura, she says. She wants to go for another adventure. That's just one of the things I love about Abuela. She likes adventures. Do you like adventures? Abuela takes my hand. Vamos, she says. Let's go. The end. Do you find any other pictures in these clouds? Hmm, I've seen some other things. I think I see little people, maybe a bunny. What a good book.